Hello, my name is John and I'm one of the members of the St Joseph's Bereavement Support Group. We have been active within our parish community for about five years now and there are nine members within our support group. The purpose of the support group is really to provide ongoing support to members of the parish community who have experienced bereavement but also their family members and even people out with the community who may be affected by that bereavement. All of us have received extensive training in the support of bereavement and we've all had disclosure checks by Police Scotland. Normal contact with ourselves is usually through Father Stephen who will notify us uh, when someone has been uh, bereaved within the parish community and he will provide us with the contact details and our coordinator Elaine Allen We'll send out a text message usually to that person, the next of kin, a month after the death of the person, introducing ourselves and the services that we provide. We would then follow that up at the third month anniversary with a bereavement card, extending our condolences to the individual and the family, and again reiterating the support that we can provide to them. Again, as I said earlier on, it's not a counselling support service that we provide, but a listening support service. And we're quite happy to do that on a one-to-one -one basis, either in the person's home or within the parish uh, chapel house, or even somewhere like a cafe over a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. We have also successfully run some group sessions where people have been able to come together and share their collective experiences of their own bereavement and the feedback we've had from that has been very positive and it's hoped that later on in this year that we'll run another group session usually over a six week period and the climax of that will be in our annual bereavement mass in the autumn of this year. It is important for people to remember that it's a confidential service so whatever is discussed with uh, ourselves and within the group settings remain so and if people do need any additional help or support we can perhaps signpost them if they perhaps do need some counselling or indeed if they need some maybe other practical help and support even things as simple as getting to mass on a Sunday we can look at other community support services within the parish such as a minibus or even get in touch with other uh, parish groups like the St Vincent de Paul Society that the uh, contact with ourselves can either be made through our coordinator Elaine Allen and her number is 07814 236 551 or if you wish to contact Father Stephen directly he will put you in touch with ourselves. So please take the opportunity, don't feel embarrassed about it. Very often people feel that they do have something they want to speak about that's affecting them from their bereavement but for whatever reason, they don't want to share it with their family, their friends, and they find that the support that we can provide can be extremely useful in helping to support them through that difficult period in time. So if you do feel there's a need for yourself, that we don't obviously just provide it within the parish boundaries, we can provide it to family members out with St Joseph's parish boundaries, and we're quite happy to do that, where we're able to do so. But please get in contact with us if you feel that this would be appropriate for yourself or anyone else that you might know following bereavement. Thank you very much for your time.